Computer, what's the matter? I have just received word that an asteroid the size of Manhattan has been spotted closing in on us. How far away is it? The asteroid is at approximately the orbit of Saturn and is moving at tremendous speed. Holy shoot, that close? How much time do we have? I estimate about three minutes. I guess that does it then. Start my car. I've got a bucket list to finish. That is false. Wait, what? According to my calculations, if a highly focused, coherent laser were to be fired from your backyard at exactly 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, the asteroid would be heated such that the jettisoned gas would propel it to a non-collision course. Of course, there is not currently a laser installed at said location. A skilled scientist would be required to construct one before the time runs Let's out. Let's do it. We will need some material. Just tell me what. A laser is essentially a highly disciplined beam of light. This light is created through a process called stimulated emission. To create stimulated emission, one must pump energy into the atoms of a certain material or medium to bring them to a higher energy level. We will do this using an electric current, but a flashlamp would work just as well. Once the atoms are energized, they can be stimulated by an incoming photon to release its energy as a duplicate photon, moving with identical energy and direction. If the medium is placed between two parallel mirrors, then photons traveling perpendicular to the mirrors will bounce back and stimulate more photons traveling perpendicular to the mirrors. This happens again and again, until all the energy pumped into the atoms has been turned into light. Open a small hole in one of the mirrors to let out a collimated, coherent, and polarized beam that is laser light. Wait, collimated, coherent, what? Well, if your laser is going to do anything against this doomsday asteroid, then it will need to be very concentrated, in more ways than one. Normal light, such as that from a flashlight, gets more scattered the further it goes. If our laser was like that, it'd never even reach outer space. It will need to be collimated into a perfectly parallel beam so it will stay together over the entire distance. This is accomplished because of the nature of our mirror chamber to produce light waves that are exactly parallel to each other. Normal light also carries a full spectrum of colors together, which is no good because of this destructive interference between colors. We need maximum power, and so our laser must be made of exactly one wavelength of light, or be coherent. You had better get going. The firing window is about to open.